Our agents will help you score big with your new home. Visit howardhanna.com slash gobrowns today as they provide updates on every scoring drive throughout the preseason. York, of course, last year only four of eight in the preseason. Main reason why Dustin Hopkins had an amazing year. They traded for him right before the season. But for the second time, he has kicked it into the, whoa, into the end zone. And Wilson nearly came all the way out, but just took a knee. Little tap dancing there. And so the Packers will start with the ball at the 30. Ooh, that was close to being a very exciting play for the Cleveland Browns. That would have been dynamic, but he put the brakes on, did Emmanuel Wilson there. Barely. All right, time for our player to watch, and that is presented by University Hospitals, official health care partner, the Cleveland Browns. It's none other than native Clevelander Mike Hall Jr. I love Mike Hall Jr. Third team All Big Ten last year, but he was a second round pick of the Browns, and they have loved his explosiveness off the line. All right, there's a new quarterback that is Sean Clifford former Penn State Nittany Lion he hands it off to AJ Dillon and a bevy of Browns there to make the stop including Grant Delpit all right time right now to check in with the third member of our team at DD King Kabwala. this sideline report is brought to you by Lee Filter the official gutter guard of the Cleveland Browns good afternoon Aditi good afternoon Chris and Nathan and Nathan Mike Hall has an infectious energy about him, too. He told us how proudly he was a Browns fan growing up, and he said even if the team was winning or losing, the fans were always amazing, and that was the piece that he was most excited about today. Youngster just 21 years old. He had plenty of battles with the quarterback for the Packers, who is behind Grant DuBose on that throw. Tony Brown in coverage for the Browns. Yeah, Mike Hall is a guy that adds some youth and athleticism to a awfully talented defensive line room. This is a penetrating defensive front. He is the perfect three technique for Jim Schwartz. I remember draft night, Schwartz walks out of the draft room grinning like the Cheshire cat that they got <laughs> Mike Hall Jr. Heck, Zadarius said he reminds him of Aaron Donald. So don't let Mike Hall hear that, but that's the kind of praise he's generating in the building in the early goings. Cheshire cat fan, I, I can hear it. Third and nine, Clifford. Looking deep down the right side, incomplete. He was looking for DuBose again. Khalif Halasi, the second year man that the Browns picked up at the end of last preseason on the coverage. Yeah, and he was getting a little handsy there. I didn't see anything on the ground, but the officials now are talking and, and wouldn't be surprised if they end up getting Khalif Halasi for a hold. Holding, defense number 25. Yeah. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. They had him around the waist like it was, you know, a, a freshman year formal dance pitcher because a little bit of distance there, but the hands right there, and you can't do that. And that's one of the things that Brandon Lynch, the Browns cornerback coach, will be on him about. You cannot be handsy after that five yards. If you're playing this man coverage, you've got to get your hands on the receiver in the first five yards. You can't do it down the field. You'll get the flag every time, and that's an automatic first down. Wouldn't know I didn't go to the freshman dance. <laughs> I've moved on, though. A.J. Dillon. Talk about it if you need to. The fifth-year pro. Uh-oh. Little fumble ruski. That is Bo Melton that picks it up, and he gets wrapped up by the veteran Rodney McLeod. It is good to see him back. Had a really solid 10-game run with the Browns a year ago before injuring his biceps. He is in his 13th, and this will indeed be his final NFL season. Yeah, it's the swan song, and what a career. Undrafted out of Virginia to spend 13 years in this league. A Super Bowl winner with Jim Schwartz in Philadelphia. And he comes back from that bicep with just such a renewed zest. Said, we have unfinished business on this team. I needed to be back. And I'll tell you what, his secondary coach, Coach Bonda, is thrilled he is. Little movement up front, and they're going to whistle the play dead. It looked like maybe Sam Kamara, defensive lineman, moved. They were certainly in the neutral zone. Defense, number 92. Five-yard penalty, second out. That's the hard count right there. And Clifford played a million games at Penn State, so even though he's only in his second NFL season, this guy's played a lot of football, got Sam Kamara. And sometimes in the preseason, Chris Wright, guys are so eager to make that impact play. Sam Kamara trying to flash, not just for the Browns, but for the other 31 teams, a little too aggressive. And now you got second and short after the five-yard penalty. Kamara, the second-year pro out of Stony Brook, has made it second and one, and Dylan gets wrapped up. 
And he's going to be dropped by Isaiah Thomas, who really shined in the preseason a couple of years ago out of Oklahoma. Spent 2023 on the practice squad. Yeah, he had a sack in 2022 against the Bengals, and he's a guy they like. They feel like they have six NFL caliber defensive tackles. And look at the push right there. Able to get off the block and shed it and make the play in the backfield. And he was working there uh, against a guy who's been in the league for a while in Telford. Third and short for the Packers. We've seen them score a touchdown and get a defensive holding penalty on previous third downs. It'll be a handoff inside. Dylan, the muscles, not enough as Devin Bush is there to wrap him up. And for Bush, uh, another chance here. A former first rounder of the Pittsburgh Steelers, really solid his rookie year, then blew out his knee against the Browns in season two. Yeah, but it was Isaiah Thomas again. He's the one that forced Dylan to stop his feet. And they talk about Bush. He doesn't look big, but he is thick. 235 pounds. Guy with 100 tackle season under his belt. Stood up Dylan. That is a big tackle. And now fourth and short, Chris. Here we go. Why not? Fourth and a yard. The Browns looking for a stop. Hand off again. Dylan trying to push, and he is not going to get it. Three straight times that Browns defense shines. Jim Schwartz says backups. Everybody's a starter on this squad. Cleveland will take over in Green Bay territory. Field seats at Cleveland Browns Stadium, some of the best in the house. They put you up close and personal thrill of the game, the sights and sounds. Limited quantities are available, so purchase single game or season ticket options as well before they are all gone. They loved what they saw defensively, so the Browns will start with the ball in Packer territory and a new quarterback. The quarterback profile brought to you by John Carroll University Building Inspired Futures. It is the former Baltimore Raven, Tyler Huntley. Yeah, pro bowler in 2022. Ten career starts, including a playoff game against Cincinnati. And I'll tell you what, this coaching staff, they are huge fans of Snoop. They're impressed with his accuracy. And you'll see dangerous with his legs in the open field as well. Jameis Winston, one drive and done. Finished four of five for 30 yards. Got three points on the board. Huntley using his legs. Dumps it down to Jordan Akins, who gets inside the 40-yard line. Go forth, tackles him after a gain of about eight and a half. This is classic Kevin Stefanski. The play action boot game levels concept at the top Tillman middle route and then Aikens underneath. Huntley does a great job getting to the edge, waiting for the zone to open, finding Aikens for a great gain on first down. Packers still with a handful of starters in there on the Browns second offensive series. Pierre Strong has checked into the backfield. On second and short, it'll be Strong. And he is bottled up for no gain, may have lost a yard as well. Lucas Van Ness, very busy in the early going. So tell us a little bit about this running back room without Nick Chubb for the time being. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of a three-headed monster. Jerome Ford last year over 1,100 total yards, nine total touchdowns. Pierre Strong led the team at 4.6 yards a carry. He's more of the vertical guy, and if you can get him in space, he can really accelerate and make big plays as a pass catcher. And then that's going to be the hammer, Deontay Foreman, about 230 pounds. Think about what Kareem did last year. That's the role Foreman's going to play this year, and perhaps more. Third and short. It's a handoff again, and once again, Strong has nowhere to go as the Packers line gets serious push up there. T.J. Slayton, the big man, along with Lucas Van Ness. And so, fourth and four? Come on. It's the preseason. Let's go for it right now as these teams are going to go. Oh. And it's kind of similar, right? A nice gain on first down, and then you try to run it up the middle, pick up the first down, and both times the Packers were thwarted by the Browns. Now the Browns thwarted by the Packers. Let's get Tyrone Huntley here. I give him a run-pass option. Get him on the edge, see what he can do with his legs, and put a little stress on the defense. I love it. You're calling strategy in game one of the preseason. It's a girl. way to go. Fourth and four, Huntley pressured. And he's got a man wide open. That is David Bell. There is a flag on the ground, and now Bell is on the ground inside the 15. What do we think? Rub route? It looked like a pick route, but there's also a flag back here at the 40. Pass interference. Offense, number 19. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Fourth down. Cedric Tillman. I called it a rub route. John Hussey called it a penalty. 
It's all semantics. All right, here comes Cedric Tillman across the middle. This is a mesh concept. He's going to be running this way, Bell coming the other way. And what you're trying to do is get in the way of the defender. He does just come in the other way. And what you're trying to do is get in the way of the defender. He does just that. Ah, that's a tough call. He is running. The defender had his back to that play. That was a very tough call. David Bell did get wide open, but watching that back, uh, it's preseason for the Dude, officials, too. Let's go. High five, my man. Way to use the telestrator. Have you been taking that thing at home? Let's go. No, it's the first time I've seen you it. You sure? Now. Hopefully that was all right. It was better than all right. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Corey Bajorquez, who had a fantastic season a year ago, set the Browns' single-season punting average 49.4. Of course, that is gross, not net, but still had an outstanding year. Former one inside the 20 as well. Here's another one. Tony Brown, oh, he just could not get to it. And so the Packers will start with the ball at the 20. That rule has not changed. Browns down 7-3 here in the first. Second series for the former Penn State Nittany Lion, Sean Clifford, in his second year. Through only one pass as a rookie, it was a 37-yard completion to Bo Melton. So if nothing else, he's got that. And Can always say he did that. He's in the book, as we like to say. Clifford, a little play action. Being pressured by Isaiah Thomas, he's going to look downfield. And Devin Bush chases him out at Brown's second and third defense. Boy, it's been fast and hard-hitting. Yeah, and it's been Isaiah Thomas. Here he is stuffing the run. That's a 6 7, 320 pound tackle. He throws aside. Then it's Thomas cutting in again, forcing Dylan to stop his feet. Devin Bush wrapping him up. And on the third down, Mike Hall, Isaiah McGuire collapsing that right side. And they stuff him on fourth down, get the ball back for the Browns. And Isaiah Thomas, another pressure there. He is looking very good. Marshawn Lloyd, the rookie third round pick out of USC is going to watch an end around to Samari Toure. And a pair of Browns are there, including Miles Harden, the seventh round pick out of South Dakota. Yeah, Miles Harden, they say he is not afraid to tackle. They like him as a physical slot. He's good in the zone coverage as well as in man. But right there, I love the way that they inside out it. In comes Devin Bush, outside Miles Harden. They force him right into the tackle. Vice tackle, they call it, forcing a third and long. Devin Bush, by the way, is flying all over this field right now, Chris. Still in there with Mahmoud Diabate at the linebacker position. Clifford on third and seven from the shotgun. Being pressured, and he connects with Joel Wilson, one of the backup tight ends, to move the chains for Green Bay. Yeah, Isaiah McGuire had nice pressure off the right side, but too much time in the pocket. And right there, the Browns linebackers had a little too much depth in their zone drops. And so it was too easy of a pitch and catch at the sticks. You got to remember where the sticks are. Do not let them have that easy completion in front of you. And again, you got some new guys in there. Buki Watson in at the Mike linebacker position. He'll learn that as it goes along. Fresh set of downs for Green Bay with under 90 ticks left. A little bit of motion, a little bit of movement. It looks like Andre Dillard, the veteran left tackle, may have moved a bit Full early. Start. Offense number 73. Five-yard penalty. First down. Last time we saw Dillard, he was getting eaten alive by <laughs> now reigning defensive player of the year, Miles Garrett. That was week three against Tennessee. And you talk about a defensive front led by, of course, that man, number 95. But Shelby Harris is back. Dalvin Tomlinson is back. We saw Mo Hurst as well. They've added Quentin Jefferson to the mix. So many different guys that Jim Schwartz can say, OK, go. That's the way you can keep them in waves. You can keep them fresh, and that's going to make life tough for opposing quarterbacks. Brown showing cover zero here. No safety in the back. They're 10 yards off. They are blitzing, and they swing it out to Grant. DuBose gets a nice block and a good quick tackle by Brady Breeze, second-year man out of Oregon. That was a tackle he needed to make because when you're in cover zero, that means there are no safeties. So everybody's about 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. They run a quick little screen to beat the blitz. Breeze makes a tackle that had he not made, he might still be running right there, would be the Green Bay Packers. Breeze, a former sixth round pick of the Tennessee Titans, has played a handful of games with Tennessee over the years before landing with Cleveland in the offseason. Second and 11 on what could be the final play of the first quarter. Clifford looks down the middle. It's in and out of the hands of Bo Melton and nearly picked off. Chris Edmonds was the closest man to the ball. 
Tips and overthrows. You got to get those there. A nice little route over the middle. He had created separation from Breeze right there and Miles Harden. And Edmonds, he was coming in to make the tackle. Couldn't react to the ball fast enough there. But they like Edmonds. Number 41, the free safety out of Arizona State. Coach Bonda told me, good range. He's got a lot of mobility as a center fielder here in some of the single high looks, which the Browns are showing right now. Had three picks last season for the Sun Devils. Third and 11 for Green Bay. Clifford, plenty of time. He's going to swing it out to Wilson, and he gets hammered immediately. It is Miles Harden. You said it. He's not afraid to stick his nose into it, and he does a great job forcing a fourth down. And